a little Capricorn Ramble Mike here. We're going to play some tarot cards today. Once again, thank you Capricorn for tuning into my channel. I appreciate it. Also want to thank you for all of your likes, all of your subscribes, all of your comments. I love them all. Keep them coming. Also, my Capricorn friends, I want to thank you for all of you that reached out for uh, private readings. Uh, thank you. I enjoy meeting each and every one of you very much. Thank you again. And also for you, uh, my Capricorn friends that tried to get in contact with me, um, I thank you for your patience, and, uh, and I apologize if I was not able to get to you. It's only one, only one of me. It's, this is my crew. You're looking at it right here. So patience. If you want a reading, just continue to shoot me the emails and all that fun stuff. If you want a reading, all that information is down below, how to contact me and, uh, you know, what I have available. The phone reading or a video reading. These uh, readings right here will be for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising uh, for the month of April, mid-month, going into May. Uh, this will be for love and romance, uh, excuse me, love and relationships of all kinds. Uh, you know, I'm not the only tarot card reader here, so you read these cards along with me. Uh, they can they can line up with work or family or all that. Of course, I'm going to mainly focus on love. That's my favorite thing to read. Um, also, uh, my cross watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. Thank you for uh, tuning in yourself. I just wanted to mention to you, even though I'll be saying Capricorn a lot, these may read out from your perspective as well. Um, so with all that being said, let's play some cards, huh? April 2018, mid-month, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. I've been shuffling your cards for a while and meditating on it. Let's go with that right there. Let's go with that right there. I'm going to tune in here. Hey, Tarot, I love team. Capricorn's here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most of the highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help them hear what they need to hear. Help me see what I need to see. Thank you, guides. Can't do this without you. Cut in the deck, Capricorn. Here we go. Capricorn, uh, the first card out is a uh, face card right here. Queen of Wands. Um, it's a, uh, this is a fire sign. Leo Saggi Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, of course. Um, and uh, for me, uh, gender doesn't have anything to do with this. This is somebody very good looking. Uh... So I go get her, you know, very passionate about life. Uh, she has that uh, little black cat right there, you know. She can be a little magic, uh, no doubt about it. Um, uh, an amazing catch if you if you can catch the Queen of Wands. So that's because uh, Queen of Wands, you know, if uh, you're not uh, playing the game her way. Uh, she's going to go find somebody else that is, you know. Let's see what crosses us right here. Uh, oh, look at that right there, Capricorn. Uh, Ace of Wands right on top of this, you know. That absolutely talks about a passionate new beginning uh, in an arena. Looks like a door may be opening up for many of you Capricorns out there. Uh, with somebody that's pretty fiery, you know, pretty excited about life, you know pretty passionate about life. You know, you got to love the aces when they show up. All it talks about a, a, a new beginning coming in for you. Uh, I love this for you uh, right off the bat. Bottom of the spread right here is a major arcana, major life force card. It is the wheel of fortune. Uh, it may not be somebody new for many of you. Uh, maybe somebody that you already know, you know, I mean, the, the wheel of fortune, you know, talks about those karmic circles going round and round and round, you know, uh, and can also talk, you know, this is distant past can also talk that in the past, um, if you didn't know this person that, uh, it, it was good, you know, um, it's, a uh, and, and, you know, it does have all four fixed elements on the uh, sign here. Aquarius, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Leo. You know, a fire sign is on this right here. Um, so it's a nice card. You know, I mean, it's a major arcana, major life force card. It is Jupiter. And that is Sagittarius as well. 
Uh, this is the Sagittarius card uh, for me. Got a lot of fire on this chart right here, Capricorn. A lot of fire on this chart right here. Um, let's see where this goes right here. Oh, I do want to mention that, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is an omen of good luck, period. Let's go with that right there. Uh, there we go. Another Major Arcana, Major Life Force card. It is the High Priestess. Uh, she's all about um, intuition, psychic abilities, uh, all those spiritual giftings. You know, she's the dreamer. Uh, it's uh, Major Arcana. It's Cancer. Pisces. May mean something, may not. Uh, but, you know, she knows the secrets. huh? She knows the secrets. Um, you may have found out some secrets in the past, you know. Um, it's also that card of just uh, peace be still, you know. I, I love it, you know. She looks like an angel to me in the Terra Illuminati deck. And Al always talks about lots of angelic activity around you uh, when the high priestess shows up with me in this spread right here. Well, we definitely got a lot of fire going on around here, don't we? Third major arcana in a row coming up for you, Capricorn, right here. Uh, it is the strength card. It is Leo, may mean something, may not. Definitely a lot of fire. Uh, Sagittarius on the board. Queen of Wands on the board. Ace of Wands on the board. Strength card, uh, you know, the, the story is, uh, you know, the lady in the white. She's the hero of the story right here. Uh, she, you know, she tamed the beast right here. And she didn't tame the beast with a whip or in a chair. She tamed the beast uh, with love and compassion, you know. She's tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine right there, whoever that is to you. Um, you know, it could be, you know, that uh, you've been taming a beast here. Like I say, you know, Queen of Wands, you know, she, uh, she She's magic. She can be a little handful, you know. Many of you already know what I'm talking about right here. And, um, you know, uh, strength card talks about getting strength from the universe because you've done that inner work on the inside of yourself. You know, you've gone inside yourself and done that inner work inside of yourself right here. Um, uh, like I said, many of you, you know, may be taming a beast, you know, right, right here. Um, but, you know, also in a love spread here, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune and all going around and around, uh, it can talk about, you know, the polarity differences in the people too as well, you know, whereas uh, the lady in the white right here um, would be somebody that works more with the upper chakras, you know, the heart chakra, third eye, the crown chakra, all this uh, upper chakras and uh you know the other one down here you know working mostly with the lower chakras you know uh i can't tell you which one's better uh because the battery needs both ends but many of you could be uh interacting with somebody that's uh, quite a vibrational difference than you are mm -hmm. let's see what's coming up in the immediate future well Got patience again, you know, Seven of Pentacles has showed up. Uh, you know, it looks like uh, Capricorn is being patient, you know. Uh, the old word, divine timing here, situation coming at hand for many of you. See, uh, you know, this gardener right here, uh, he does have his wand of passion in his hand right there, you know. It's right here, you know. Uh, for you, Capricorn. And he's looking at this uh, pinnacle right down here. He's got seven pinnacles all around him. These all have grapes on them. He's looking at this pinnacle right down here. You know, he's like, I, I want that now. I, I want that now. Uh, but it's not ready for harvest, you know. Uh, it kind of looks like a, uh, you know, uh, a spiritual womb to me you know, with a birth canal right out there. Always talks with me, you know, that old dreaded word, divine timing, uh, allowing things to, uh, allowing source to get involved in the situation and allowing it to birth at its proper time. And you having the strength from the universe, you know, to allow this to manifest into, into existence, um, you know, because of your, uh, 
spiritual abilities. And once again, you know, I mean, high priestess can be just that card of just being still and just uh, patiently, patiently waiting. Um, with all of this that's coming out here, you know, with all these majors, uh, play with this one more time. I mean, Wheel of Fortune can absolutely uh, have destiny connected to it. Like I've said many times, destiny is a huge word. It, you know, it talks about the divine, um, your ancestors, whoever that is to you, making sure that we meet up with these people that, you know, we sign contracts with in the uh, non-physical before we come to play here in the physical. They help to make sure that we meet up with these people. It's up to us after that, because of the free will agents that we are, about what we're going to do uh, with these kind of uh, relationships that show up in our life. I mean, all in all, I mean, it looks pretty positive to me. It's just, you know, a matter of allowing it to unfold properly. We'll see where the spread goes right here. How Capricorn sees themselves. Yeah, look at that, man. Uh, Six of Cups, Soulmate card. Um, you know, somebody from the past, like I said, um, on again, off again relationship, possibly for many of you. Uh, like I said, Queen of Wands, male or female, they're a little challenging to catch, you know. Um, they are very fiery and passionate about life, and they just go. They just go and have fun. Um, Six of Cups, you know, uh, always talks about thoughts of the past, wonderful, nostalgic thoughts of the past. Um, does talk about children as well. But really, you know, it talks with me about uh, somebody coming back from your past right here. You know, we just came out of Mercury Retrograde. So many of you uh, may have uh, met up once again with your uh, fire sign and had some sort of a passionate new beginning with them. Uh, uh, just, uh, you know, because of your intuition, being led and guided by the divine. Um, and, and, and still being patient about uh, uh, what you're believing for to come out of this situation. Exterior influence, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is that card of, uh, well, you see her right there. She's amazing. Uh, I love this character on Nine of Pentacles. She's sure and confident about herself. Um, many of you may have been single for a little bit. Uh, because this is the single card. Uh, many of you may have been uh, just focusing on your work. You know, this is a Nine of Pentacles. It is absolutely a money card right there. You see her, she's standing on a whole row of coins that go back to the big house up here, and she has a little falcon in her hand right there. That's because to me, you know, she's the entrepreneur. Uh, she has a niche market, you know. Um, not everybody on the planet wants a falcon, and that's what she does. She's a falconer. And, but those that do uh, want a falcon from her, uh, those that do want a falcon, they come to her and get their falcon from her. Um, you can talk about that. You know, you've just focused on business uh, work uh, for this time being, uh, you know, waiting patiently, you know, allowing this to unfold. And um, they very well could have showed back up in your life, you know, or you're desiring them to show back up in your life at this particular point in time. Um, hopes or fears, yeah. Ten of Wands. Um, you know, like I said, um, you know, more Wands showing up on this spread right here. We got the Queen of Wands and Ace of Wands and now Ten of Wands and your hopes or fears. You know, it talks to me, me about um, hoping that um, this cycle, this burdensome cycle, is over, you know, that round and round and round and round that I see right here, you know, with a soulmate. This is definitely a soulmate card right here. Um, uh, wanting to get up to the top of the hill up there, back to the castle, you know, and put all these wands of burdens down and pick up that one wand of a passion, you know. If this person hasn't showed up in your life uh, during Mercury Retrograde, uh, they may show up in your life uh, as we go into May right here, you know. Uh, and the strength to do it, your intuition, following your intuition, um, destiny being involved here in many cases with a soulmate, and you've been very patient. But uh, you definitely want a cycle to come to an end, you know. Uh, 
and a new beginning to come in. I do see a cycle ending right there with Ten of Wands, and I do see a new beginning right here in the middle of your spread, Capricorn. Let's see. Outcome. Yeah, I love it. I do. Uh, Princess of Pentacles uh, showed up as an outcome right here. You know, the princesses always talk about messages coming in for you. Um, and uh, the Princess of Pentacles, you know, uh, Pentacles are pretty grounded. Uh, 3D. So this talks with me about not text messages coming in, but at a you know a minimum phone call or meeting face to face. You know, um, a movement forward. I mean, it is it is a, a pinnacle Capricorn right here. Um, she's not running. You know, she's definitely moving forward. She's going through these red flowers right here, which talked to me. You know, the feeling that the price has been paid. You know, ten ten of ten of wands right here. You know. Uh, wanting wanting this uh, burden to be dropped down and one wand of passion picked up in it. I like this for you, you know, with a little piece of the harvest in the hand right there, you know, uh, the road of life that uh, you've been on here with a new day dawning. I like this for you, Capricorn. I really do. You know, the strength, the strength, you know, you've definitely gone inside and done the inner work that you needed to do in this situation and um, being patient about it. Being diligent about, you know, just gone to work, just focused on you, you know, healthy selfishness, you know, allowing the divine to do their part. Uh, absolutely see that, you know, with the uh, high priestess right here, you know, uh, peace be still and allow this to unfold the way that it's supposed to, you know, like I say, man, wheel of fortune is an omen of good luck. It's a nice spread, Capricorn, uh, you know, looks like... Um, Putting it together, really nice, and uh, looks to me like there's going to be some uh, movement forward. Hmm? Movement forward. This is absolutely a uh, a card of of movement forward. Um, I said that about four times, didn't I? Bottom of the deck, uh, we have um, five of wands. Like I said, you know. The tussle. It is the tussle card, you know, going round and round and round. But five is nice. Um, it talks about change coming in. It's also a card of competition. Many of you Capricorns may have had competition. Like I said, my, my Queen of Wands right here, you know, is the Queen of Wands. <laughs> That's all I know. You guys, the tarot readers out there with me yourself, you know. She's quite the go-getter. And uh, if you're not playing it her way, she's going to go find somebody that will. Um, causing, you know, a little bit of turmoil and all that on the inside of my Capricorn friends out there. But I really see a uh, very nice uh, potential for it to turn around for you. Got to show you the hair fence on the bottom of the deck, too, you know. That is the uh, committed relationship card. Um, talks about life lessons and committed relationships and all of that. You know, it is the source card to me. It's the Pope of the Tarot deck. I absolutely, you know, Hierophant, Wheel of Fortune, uh, Six of Cups, absolutely see the Divine uh, connected in this situation. Seven of Pentacles, uh, High Priestess card right here. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's just play with this bottom of this deck for a minute, you know. Um, they may have been watching you, you know, uh, on your social media or something, you know. They got their eye on you. And uh, let's just go with that right there. One more sun card on the bottom of the deck. Like I said, I feel really good about this. You know, if, so, if an old lover's come back, you know, an old soulmate's come back uh, during Mercury retrograde or as we go into May right here. Uh, it looks like it has great potential. You know, Princess of Pentacles is no guarantee card, though. No guarantee, but we all know that. Nothing's written in granite. Um, let's throw out some love cards on this, Capricorn. I, I like it. I like it. I hope you like it, too. Hey, Romance Angels, let's do three uh, cards on this for Capricorn right here. Uh, in alignment with the spread. Thank you very much for it. Thank you very much for it. Um, yeah, there we go right there. Healing family issues, you know. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Mm -hmm. Five of wands, you know, arguments, the tussle card, you know, round and round and round, you know. Definitely soulmate, 
karmic stuff, you know, hoping that the burden, Ten of Wands is over, you know, new beginnings coming in with my Princess of Pentacles right there, uh, direct communication, and all this stuff has to do with forgiveness, you know, uh, soulmates, cleaning karma. I think that's what most of us are doing anymore is just clearing karma, you know. Um, and how we do that, we forgive and we forgive and we forgive. We don't let them, we don't let them come back in and wipe their feet on us, though. You know what I'm talking about, Capricorn? That ain't happening. Two more, please, for Capricorn. Two more, please, for Capricorn. Thank you. Uh, like I said right here, um, you know, somebody, somebody needs to release their ex. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Five of Wands talks about, you know, competition. And I just felt that the whole time, you know. Um, Somebody needs to re release their, their ex, you know. And the time has come to clear the energy here, you know. Uh, I like it for you. I see great potential of this uh, soulmate union coming to pass because I'm looking at the strength card right here because Capricorn's gone inside and done that inner work that they needed to do. They've been very patient and uh, they focus on themselves as I'm looking at Nine of Pentacles right here. They focus on themselves, healing the heart, healing the mind. I like it all for you. I like it all for you. Um, retreat. The time has come to disconnect from the world. Um, like I said, uh, many of you have been doing this inner work with inside of yourself. Uh, definitely some romantic feelings that have been going on. Uh, definitely looks like for many of you it has been an off again, on again situation with somebody that may have been a little detached. Uh, from you, but um, definitely uh, some kind of uh, some kind of uh, soulmate union right here. That once again, I'm going to show you the sun card. Yeah, I see great potential for this to manifest. You know, like I said, the sun's right there too. New day dawning for you, probably as we go into May. Um, may just be a little bit of time here. You know, retreat talks about getting out in nature and uh, spending time, you know, with the divine outside, you know, uh, stilling the thought process and all of that uh, wonderful stuff that goes along with it. Let's do one more major on this, uh, Capricorn. I've enjoyed it. I see great potential of, of what you've been believing for coming in for you, you know, healing uh, family issues, uh, somebody releasing an ex, and uh, just... Uh, Getting out and about, you know, feeling good uh, and definitely romantic feelings, you know. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Fun, fun, fun spread. One more for Capricorn, please, Tarot. Thank you. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, lover's card. Hmm? Lover's card. It's not the fairy tale card at all. You know, it is Gemini, uh, the uh, zodiac the, uh, that we got on the board. It's Taurus, Leo. Leo, Pisces, Cancer may mean something to you, may not mean something to you. Lover's card always talks about, you know, the vulnerability, the nudity, the vulnerability that it takes to, to expose ourselves to these kind of, of love relationships and, uh, you know, the polarity differences between the two. I mean, the masculine here. His force is on fire. It's burning up. And uh, the, the, fe the female energy right here, you know, she's by the apple tree of the serpent and the seductiveness, you know. It's source up here going, come on, we can get this together, peeps, you know. Uh, it shows Eden in the middle. And it's steadily about the closing of the gap. And really, that's what I see here. It's really what I see here, Capricorn. Nice, fun spread, man. I want the best for you, Capricorn. Looks like uh, somebody special either has already come back into your life or has very much the potential to come back into your life as we head into May. Very exciting for you. Enjoyed your time. Namaste. Love and light. I'll be talking to you soon, Capricorn. Bye for now.